New video tonight that shows Anthony Tony Mitchell inside the Walker County Jail moments before he's taken to the hospital. Mitchell's family is now suing the Sheriff's Department, alleging he was locked inside a freezer while in their custody before he died. Lauren Jackson's with us now to break down this new video. Of course, Lauren, we want to warn our viewers it is disturbing. Yeah, Jonathan Morgan, lawyers representing Mitchell's family, shared this new disturbing video with me. It's from inside the booking area right before deputies transport Mitchell to the hospital where we know he later died. Lawyers for the Sheriff's Department deny Mitchell was placed in a freezer, but his family's attorneys say they believe this video takes place after he was placed in some kind of cold temperature. The video has no sound, but you can see Mitchell being taken out of his cell in a wheelchair. Court filings say this is the first time he's seen clothed while in custody. Deputies begin cuffing Mitchell's feet while his head rolls from side to side. You then see Mitchell slide out of his chair and deputies lift him back in. Both parties admit that Mitchell was still alive at this time. Next, they begin to lift Mitchell out of the wheelchair by his jumpsuit. They place him on the ground, back in a cell, and close the door as another inmate enters the booking area. Court documents show Mitchell's family believes this video is proof that deputies should have called for an ambulance sooner. But attorneys for the sheriff's department tell me it doesn't portray the entire picture, saying, quote, if you look at the entire video, you will see that WCSO was delayed in sending Mitchell to the hospital because they had to address an inmate that created a security risk. Now at this time, the entire video has not been released, but attorneys for the sheriff claim Mitchell was seen moving about while deputies address that other inmate. But that's something the family is disputing. Now we still don't have an official cause of death for Mitchell either. The Walker County coroner telling me tonight it could still be a couple weeks before that autopsy report is back. Morgan.